before he went missing. 17-year-old Damian Henning was scheduled to be at work. His mother says he never called or showed up to his job, but his employer didn't contact him or her. Every minute is valuable when you're searching for someone. In this News 5 original, Amanda Van Allen shows us how she's trying to make sure this never happens to another family again. Everyone has these. It says Damien G. Henning. She wears them every single day. A band with his name and a bracelet with his picture. Bonnie Lee Jackson says her son, Damien, was academically and athletically gifted and was loved by everyone. I'm just a very outspoken, bubbly, you know, goofball. But late last year, this Sandusky woman's world came crashing down. When I went out to leave, his car wasn't sitting next to my car where it normally is. Jackson's 17-year-old son was found dead in Toledo. This all happened when Jackson says Damien was scheduled for a work shift at Kalahari as a lifeguard. But he didn't show up and he didn't call out. I uh, just assumed that they would contact a parent for something like that. I never, in a million years, I, I was shocked that they didn't call me. Jackson believes her son's death could have been prevented. She says if the folks at his job would have just called her to say he never showed up, maybe she could have tracked him down. That's why she's starting a petition to make that into a law. The employers will be obligated, if someone no call, no shows, they will be obligated to call the employee. Try to make contact with that employee. Can you reach them? If you're unable to reach them, the next line is to contact their emergency contact, which is part of their worker's permit. This potential law would only apply to minors who need a work permit for employment. Already Jackson has well over 25,000 signatures on her online change.org petition, and she's hoping for many more. It's easy to just curl in the ball, but if it's going to help someone else not go through what my family's going through, at least it would do some good to someone somewhere. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.